Hello, and welcome to this introduction to support engineering at GitLab. Before we dive in, I'll let you know a little bit about me. My name is Bree Carranza. I am a support engineer at GitLab, and I've been here since May of 2020. Uh, my background is in Linux systems administration, high performance computing, and cybersecurity. I uh, here at GitLab, I specialize in GitLab CI/CD, GitLab Runner, and GraphQL. So these are the four things that we're going to cover today. By the end of this brief presentation, you should have a general understanding of what support engineering is, what I and my colleagues do in our roles as support engineers, why support is important, and some of the skills that are essential for becoming a support engineer. Let's start with what support engineering is. So simplified. Uh, support engineers help to bridge the gap between the way things should work in theory and the way that things are actually working in reality. So to help illustrate why support engineering is um, useful or necessary, imagine you're a member of a development team and you've um, finalized an application, you've released the application, and awesome, users are beginning to use the application. What happens when they run into problems? What happens if they have configuration questions? They contact support. Let's talk about what a support engineer does. Our primary objective is to effectively solve tickets. At GitLab, our goal is to deflect tickets through documentation. So we'd like to be in a situation where customers can solve most of their problems by using our amazing documentation. When the documentation has been exhausted, then support engineers uh, come in and play a role. We might resolve tickets uh, in one of a number of different ways. Uh, one common thing we do is consult on customers' current configuration and help make suggestions on how they can bring their current configuration to their desired configuration. We also might create a new bug report. Um, I, earlier today, created a bug report because the customer reported something that wasn't working the way they expected it to, looked into it, it's a bug. So I uh, made a bug report and let them know about that. Um, sometimes if we're lucky, we'll find uh, bug reports that already exist and we can connect users with those bug reports. And then sometimes we will identify that the source of the problem is outside of GitLab. So for example, if someone is having trouble receiving notification emails from GitLab, we dig into the problem. We see that GitLab is attempting to send the email, but the SMTP server is not responding properly. Um, so that's a situation where we'll help resolve the ticket by um, explaining what GitLab needs in order for the uh, emails to be sent. We do lots of things that are not solving tickets though. Uh, we contribute code fixes, we help to improve the documentation, as I mentioned, we have lots of opportunities for professional development, and that's really great for opportunities to become familiar with the technology uh, before getting a lot of tickets about it, so that's pretty exciting. We also assist others with their tickets, there's a strong culture of collaboration across the support team, and we participate in on-call rotations. So everyone organizes their time and their work differently. Um, but I wanted to give you an example of what a day in a support engineer could look like. Um, I tend to be a very calendar oriented person. So I try and put everything uh, that I'm planning on doing on my calendar. Uh, so you'll see here the pairing sessions at nine and 10, and the group pairing at three. Those are all opportunities to collaborate with others on tickets. We do those in one on one pairing sessions and in larger crush sessions with, uh, you know, three or more engineers. You'll also see time for professional development, taking a break because rest ethic is as important as work ethic, one-on-one uh, -on -one with my manager, and then sort of wrapping up for the end of the day. Uh, now, this is an example of a day where I'm not in an on-call rotation, and so those days my uh, time will be spent a bit differently. So the importance of support. Uh, we help people continue to use GitLab smoothly. Um, across the support team, we want people to have an amazing experience with GitLab. 
um, we wind up responding in situations that run the gamut in terms of severity. So if someone has a quick question clarifying how something should work in GitLab, support is here to help. If someone's GitLab instance is down in production, they're experiencing a significant business impact, GitLab support is here to help in those situations as well. So we'll pivot a little bit to talk about some of the skills and technologies that are essential for people in roles like support engineer. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting is, I think, the single most important skill. Uh, we rely on troubleshooting every single day to uh, solve problems effectively. We really would be nowhere without the ability to troubleshoot effectively. Um, digging into what effective troubleshooting looks like would be a separate topic, but um, it's a really important skill. Networking basics. So um, for this role, I would recommend being familiar with things like DNS, um, passing familiarity with the TCP IP model. So you know what someone means if they say that a problem is a layer two problem versus a layer seven problem. Um, and the nice thing about networking basics is that will also help you to identify uh, the, the location of a problem, um, understanding the way that systems interact with one another from a networking perspective will help you to identify, okay, the problem is not in this service. It's with this service that's giving weird requests or should be able to be connected to or whatever. I would also recommend um, being comfortable with common command line interface tools. Uh, so that would be sort of like Linux basics like CD, LS, find, tar, and dig. Those are all commands that um, you will find useful in troubleshooting a variety of different um, systems and applications. And then lastly, if you're looking at roles with the title support engineer, you'll probably benefit from having some of these DevOps basics. So familiarity with Git as a version control system would be really helpful. Um, experience with Docker, lots and lots and lots of things are built with or run on Docker. Uh, you will spend time interacting with APIs, REST and GraphQL APIs. And so being familiar with how to issue requests and parse the response would be helpful. And related to that, um, being comfortable parsing JSON and YAML, you'll find responses are often in JSON and config files uh, will be in JSON or YAML. Um, so being familiar with JQ, YQ, or some other tool for parsing uh, JSON or YAML content will serve you well. And then so I want to transition to talking about um, skills that are not purely technical skills, but that I think are super helpful for a support engineering role. Uh, so the first thing that I have here is curiosity. Um, I encourage people in this role to be curious about what they see. We gain so much information about the cause and nature of a problem by asking questions. It's also really important uh, when presented with a problem statement to understand why someone is making that assertion. So if someone says, oh, the server is down, it's important to ask, why do you believe the server is down? Uh, the server is down could mean different things to different people. Is it actually powered off? Is it not connected to the network? Is it giving responses other than you expect? So having that curiosity will help you understand more about the nature of the problem that you're trying to solve. Uh, next, I recommend humility. One of the most exciting and interesting parts of uh, this kind of role is that the person that you're helping could be relatively new to tech. Um, they could also be someone who way uh, surpasses your own technical expertise, and that's okay. It's important to be confident in what you do know, be confident and um, have a low level of shame about what you don't know, and come to the table with a humble perspective so that you and the customer can work together to solve the problem organization. Uh, some 
organizational system is critical to success in this role. We wind up having lots of tickets at one time. And so it's important to have some system by which you can distinguish between the details of ticket A and ticket B. So that when you're discussing that ticket in a pairing session or writing back to the customer, you know uh, what information is related to the ticket at hand. Lastly, patience and persistence of purpose. Um, we often want problems to be solved immediately. And sometimes it's possible, but I would not recommend relying on it. And so um, being patient and staying the course and working through the problem diligently uh, until you get to a resolution is important. Um, I say that because sometimes it can feel a little bit discouraging to uh, have worked on a problem all day and not have a solution. It's okay. Tomorrow will come. You will get to the solution. Have patience with yourself and with the process. And lastly, uh, as a parting thought, I wanted to leave you with uh, this sentiment that I gained from one of my colleagues here at GitLab Support. Um, in this kind of role, it's not the only, it's important what you know, but that's not the only thing that's important. What you can figure out is really, really important too. We often find ourselves with tickets that have components to them that we may have never uh, used before or may have used very sparingly. Um, our job is to understand the fundamentals, collaborate, do what's necessary to learn the thing. So if you don't know something, that's okay. Your ability to figure it out is important. Thank you.